Hey guys, this is Oi Martin right here, and right here we also have the Texas Rat Snake, a Laffe Obsoleta Lindhimeri. These snakes are beautiful snakes, mainly just because their babies are a completely different color than the adults. The adults typically have a, a black, red, yellow ground color, meaning their base color is that color, whereas these babies tend to have more of a gray or granite looking ground color. It matches them to, uh, to the actual ground more than anything else, and their saddles tend to be a lot more clearly defined. And you can see this guy's pretty fresh, most likely a hatchling from last year. The hatchlings tend to be about 12 to 14 inches, and you can see he's pushing right around that length. So he is definitely a little, little guy, and just like the big daddies, they also feed primarily on warm-blooded prey. So they'll eat mice and birds primarily. And uh, they kill by constriction, just like the adults. And they have exceptionally big mouths for how little they are. I mean, you can see these guys swallow fuzzy mice um, with the ease, and, and they can actually eat a pretty good bit of them as well. But he'll max out just like the adult somewhere around six feet would be a pretty big one. And the record is just over seven, so he's got a long ways to go before he actually hits that length. But you can see Texas rat snakes are notorious for being very alert. They tend to be a little bit bitey whenever you go to hold them. And uh, it's definitely amazing that he's just so chill with me, mainly just because he thinks I'm a tree. I'm not moving around too much, so he's just climbing along the branches. Cute, cute little guy, non-venomous snake, a great snake to find, and you'll commonly find these guys around your houses. So you definitely want to make sure you memorize that color pattern. Not a copperhead, not anything venomous, just a cute little baby Texas rat snake, okay? So we'll let him go on his way. Praise God for letting us catch this guy, and uh, praise God for letting us get to observe him and look at his beautiful, beautiful, different ground color. Hey guys, I don't know if you'll notice, but check out this awesome shirt I'm wearing. This shirt came from jkrgear.com, or you can just type in Google JKR Reptiles, and you'll come up to a guy named Justin. He owns this uh, website that he sells ball pythons, but he's also getting into herping equipment and herping apparel. And if you want an awesome looking herp shirt, you really can't get much cooler than this. This is called his Eve Design shirt. And him and a buddy of his named Mark, they designed this shirt. And you can see it's got Eve from the Bible story, Adam and Eve. And it's also got a snake right there. And she's trying to tempt the snake to come in and get this apple. But she's got a little secret waiting for him. And it's that snake hook right there. So this just makes an awesome herpetological feel to a, a great story back in the olden days. And uh, you got to love the shirt. I mean, the shirt is just beautiful. I love the, the rock store pattern, the, the whole full wrap design that he's got going on. They did a great job designing this shirt. If you want an awesome herp herpetology shirt, definitely go check it out, okay? And uh, there's also, for all my Christian fellow herpetologists out there, there's like a biblical message behind it. And this snake hook pretty much represents that God gives us all the tools that we need to conquer evil, okay? Not saying that snakes are evil, but in the Bible story, the snake was Satan, so she can now conquer Satan, because she's got a snake hook, so she can easily handle him, okay? And that snake hook basically represents the power given to you by God to choose your right path, okay? You got all the powers in the world to basically conquer evil and to say that you're gonna do the right thing. And I love the shirt, I love the underlying message in it, and uh, I love the fact that it deals with snakes, and now I got a sweet shirt with a sweet message. Definitely go check them out and get you one, okay?